So, oh, I hear it now. All right. So, yep, that would be number four. We just caught it right here, guys. All right, guys, we are here in the Magic Kingdom today, and we are going to do something very special. The date is February 14th, which means it is Valentine's Day, and we are just a few minutes before the nighttime castle fireworks show, which takes place at 8 p.m. It's about 7.55, and we are going to see just how many proposals we can catch today at Magic Kingdom on Valentine's Day. All right, guys, so the biggest problem here is not going to be finding proposals. It's going to be covering all of the area to get all the proposals. Look how close we are. So when it ends, we'll be, fight we'll be swimming upstream, but we can sneak right up there and stand by for the proposal. So right now, we will wait until the show ends for the Alright guys, that is the end of the fireworks. So now, we gotta make our way to the front. I, this was kind of my fault for not being here earlier, and now I have to swim upstream. But, I don't know, I'm starting to kind of think maybe I won't see any today. So I think it's a good time to go ahead and make sure we lay down the ground rules. Obviously this is a very important up, um, moment for most people, possibly one of the most important moments of their entire lives. So we definitely don't want to ruin any of those moments. So what we are going to do is we are going to be sure that we stay a very respectful uh, distance away. And uh, you guys likely will not be able to see just too much, but I think you will be able to hear the audience and the crowd and, and everyone getting excited. This is probably what a security guard feels like. I'm just out here scanning the audience. All right, guys, uh, you can hear the applause. So I am counting that as number one that we caught tonight. Up, oh, I see people. Yep, they're over there. So that is the first one that we saw tonight. And we are going to stay tuned to see how many more we see. Number one is in the bags. First one right up there by the castle. All right, guys. So we didn't actually see this one, but there's a different couple right there taking pictures of, of a ring up. So we're going to count that as number two. Did not see that one entirely, but I'm going to say we are up to number two. All right, so we are going to keep on the lookout. So, so far that is two that we see. Um, do we have number three, I think? Up, we have number three, that couple right there, right behind us there. They are taking pictures with their ring as well. And they also just, it looks like they just bought the bride and groom hats. It does not look like a, a honeymoon because they do have uh, so many um, pictures of the ring that they're taking right now. So I'm going to count that as number three. We're up to catching three of them. Uh, I'm going to stand near the photo pass photographers because sometimes I hear a lot of people like to propose there. So we're going to hang out around here for a little bit, see if we can't push that three up to four, maybe five. But so far it looks like, up! Oh, I hear screaming! Hmm. Looks like that is a false alarm, cannot confirm. So, up! Oh, I hear it now! All right, so yep, that would be number four. We just caught it right here, guys. So congratulations to them. So we just caught number four, still on the prowl, the proposal prowl. And the reason for that is because it is a proposal bonanza. So we are up to number four right now, right there. Congratulations to them. Still hanging out. This seems to be the better area. So we are going to hang out around here. All right, guys, we are on the move. We just heard a large eruptor of applause this way. You can still kind of hear it. So I'm guessing that is number five. We're on the way. I see a camera flashing. See, it's too hard to cover all this ground by ourselves. But I don't know if you guys saw that or not or heard that, but I'm definitely counting that as number five. We'll go see if maybe we can see um, some further evidence up here. But it sounds like we just had number five. All right, guys, we've actually caught four 
uh, maybe possibly fifth, unconfirmed fifth proposals. Two we saw in person, two we kind of saw evidence of immediately after, such as uh, people holding rings up and taking pictures. I don't really know if I was just expecting lines of people just proposing or to just people to just start proposing literally all over. That obviously has not happened yet, but I still think four with a possible five is a pretty large number, but it's still crowded. There's still probably at least 10,000 people in here, so that's 5,000 maximum more proposals. So I am holding out hope that we are going to get at least one more, maybe two more. Um, I guess I was kind of expecting uh, a couple of more than that, but I still think four to five proposals is still a great deal. Um, I think there might be one left in it for the night, but I don't think I'm going to hang around and look. Uh, there's still probably at least two to 5,000 people in the immediate area. I think that there's probably at least one more, like I did say, except I do not think I'm going to hang around and watch it. If I happen to catch it on the way out, I will be sure to film it for you guys. Except other than that, that was today's vlog. We got about almost five proposals, which is kind of a lot, so that's very cool. Uh, if you guys want to see more cool and exciting videos like this, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. We do a lot of fun and exciting things, a lot of cool theme park videos coming up. So that is it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now have a great day. Maybe you're not a millionaire, and maybe you don't cross the globe for work. Maybe you're an everyday guy, just like me, that wants to see the world. This is Points for You and Me, the travel vlog for everyone.